Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards with Michelle. My name's Michelle Zanovich, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I come to you live every weekday morning at 8 and on Saturdays at 9 to start our day with a little creativity and fun. And today is Thursday, June 11th, and we are in the midst of our Forever Greenery series. So I've been using the Forever Fern stamp set along with the Forever Flourishing dies that coordinate with it. This bundle is available for purchase at my store at www.makingmemories.stampinup.net. And when you buy it as a bundle, you save 10%, so that's even better. Now, today we are using just three stamps. So I have one of the little leaf stamps, the little um, clusters of dots, and the sentiment. It's probably my favorite in the whole set to a friend that makes me smile. And like all week, we are building some incredible layers using embossing folders and these beautiful forever flourishing dies. Now you may notice I have new grid paper today. I am out of that beautiful floral grid paper. I need to add it to my shopping list. But this is an excellent reminder because today, oh, yesterday, oh no, yesterday was the last day to register for Paper Pumpkin. <gasps> Box full of sunshine coming your way anytime soon. So um, I wonder what July is going to bring. Remember, subscribe by June, July 10th for your subscription kit. All right, I have a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock, and I can't see who's watching today because my computer is hung up, so I think I see Diane and Sharon and Janine. Oh, there we are. Yay, my computer woke up. Okay, how is everybody today? So thick Whisper White cardstock, 11 by four and a quarter. All measurements can be found over on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. I have a piece of soft sea foam that I've put through the embossing folder. This is the um, subtle 3D embossing folder, and it's great for just adding a little bit of texture without a lot of design, okay? It just adds something there. All right, but before we start gluing anything, I really want to build my card front, all right? So today I have one of the little ginkgo clusters in soft sea foam. Oops, that got bent. We can fix that. Okay, then I have this pretty leaf in vellum. And then I have the same leaf cluster in gold foil. Oh, we're gonna build some pretty layers today. All right, I love that ginkgo. Did I show you that earlier this week? I don't know if you can see, but it's also embossed on some of, on the leaves. So it's not just, and it, you can see it probably a little bit better on the gold foil, but these are dye and embossing. Okay, so they're very cool, all in one. So we're gonna build those layers. Ooh, I like that combination like that. Hmm, maybe we'll do it that way on that card. Then I used some of the painted labels. This is the swirly, um, frame it's stitched and whoops see didn't get that one cut all the way my fault i can't wait for that new stamp and cut machine because my big shot is warping um so i'm having trouble and then i have just a, a little circle that i got out of the oh wow layering circles I can't remember the names of basic materials today. Okay. What we're going to do is, ah, cute little rectangle, start stamping. And I have soft sea foam and my leaf cluster. Okay, now we're gonna do, we're gonna have some fun. We're really going to muddy up this grid paper today, okay? So I'm randomly stamping some leaf clusters, kind of in a circle, kind of not, okay? 
And the reason they're random, if you take a look, right? I just, I kind of want them to hang out a little bit. And I'm stamping off first because I don't want it to be the same color as my label. All right. Let me move my light just a little bit. Good morning, Sarah Mitchell. It's great to see you today, my friend. So I've stamped in soft sea foam. Now I'm going to take pear pizzazz. Okay, and this is, remember, because I used a lighter green, I can use my darker green. And I keep reaching and you're probably wondering, hmm, is she stamping in her jammies? She is. Today is a stamping in my jammies day. And I'm gonna stamp off again, okay? And I'm just going to go a little bit darker. Just some random, just building layers, okay? We've been building layers all week, right? So filling in spaces, filling in gaps. And it's so much fun. And you can just put that down and go, oh, look at that. That's looking amazing. All right. Oh, before you close that up, I'm going to take the little cluster of dots and I'm going to stamp off twice in pear pizzazz. And just fill in some gaps. I love these little dots. I really am trying hard. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Random stamping everywhere. I'm really trying to close in some of that white space, okay? I really don't want to see any white here. All right? What do you think? I think I need just a tad bit more right there. Okay. Oh dear. I might have to sneeze. Sorry about that. Hold on, please. Okay. Now I have my circle and on the first card I used basic black, but I think I want to stamp my sentiment in pear pizzazz. just to make it blend a little better. So when we're done, I'm gonna ask you which one you like best. And you tell me if it was pear pizzazz or basic black. Ah. Okay, this, is, this bundle is absolutely one of my favorite of all time for building layers. And I don't know, maybe you've figured that out because of the detailed layers I've been using this week, but it just comes together so, so well. It doesn't take a lot of thought or planning. The layers just kind of do it for you. Okay, and I'm gonna come and I'm going to zigzag this gold ah, trim that comes in the Forever Greenery ribbon combo pack. Yeah. Give it a little snip. Now remember, this stuff makes the best frayed edges. All right, so this might be just a little long for me, but now, just give it a little untwisting motion here. And we're gonna have some frayed ends. Look at that. It's like magic. I'm telling you, even the embellishments do it all for you, okay? It's really very, very special. that right on here and I'm going to turn it around 
and grab those dimensionals. Good morning, JJ. It is great to see you. Okay, this is gonna go right in that white space there that we left. Next, we're going to take, I really do like the ginkgo first. That was kind of an accident, but that's what we're going to do. So did you know in the new catalog, there are new adhesive sheets? So we lost them, what, two years ago? I think about two years ago, we no longer have full-size adhesive sheets, and now they're back, okay? So, they are in your catalog, so adhesives are back here on page 162, and adhesive sheets are $10, okay? And you get 12 sheets of six by 12. So that will make crafting with these dies even easier. I just don't have my full order yet. I think those are coming next week. So just think, once you get this bundle, and once you get the adhesive sheets, you'll be in business. You won't have to worry about all these little dots of glue. Just run it through on your Big Shot or your stamp and cut machine or whatever you happen to have. And it will make using these intricate little dies that much easier, okay? I really like this gold on here this morning, okay? And just hold it down, right? You're, you're gluing layer upon layer, so you're going to need just a little bit there. Now, oh, I know why I used that ginkgo on top, just to hide some of that. Okay, you know what? That's not going to go anywhere. Look. Huh. So I'm going to put a little adhesive on the side that I'm going to hide. And the rest of it can just hang out and be free. And you're not going to see it. I promise. Okay, it's stuck. And now it looks like it has dimensionals anyways. All right. One of the reasons I wanted to create this first before I did any gluing on my card base was because now we're going to make a mess. Okay. Because there wasn't enough bling with the gold foil and the gold um, trim here, now I have my Wink of Stella, all right? And this, my friends, if you have got a, a situation where you might need to go in your craft room and maybe relieve a little stress, this is what you're gonna use. So you've got your, your Wink of Stella, and you're just gonna flick it on your card all the way around, okay? Oh, come on. It worked earlier, right? This, so give it a little squeeze. Maybe we need to prime it a little bit. This, is this my empty one? Oh, this is, no wonder it's not working. Let's take the one that actually has stuff in it. Maybe I should throw that one away. All right, there we go. Can you see? We're just gonna whack it really well. That's a technical crafting term, by the way. Okay, and you can add as much as you like all the way around. Make sure you get some of that vellum because it's really pretty. But it does go all over the place. 
So this is where you need some grid paper. Did you know you could buy grid paper out of the catalog? Do you have any? Okay. Just make sure you get it everywhere. Honestly, you can't have enough of this stuff. Okay. I think I have gotten my morning frustrations out. Oh my goodness, my nose is really running. Okay. Can you see? What do you think? It's very cool. Okay. I could use the shimmer paint, but I didn't want to this morning. But you're right. That, this is so much easier. <laughs> the shimmer paint, I love. But that would mean I'd have to fill my spritzer, and I'd have to find some alcohol. And I would have to do all sorts of stuff. And this, I always have a wink of Stella. Sometimes they work better than others. Okay, so now, while that's drying... I'm going to do this. And I'm going to come over here and just put this on here. And that wink of Stella dries pretty quickly, which is handy for us this morning. And this is a pretty hefty card front, so I did use my liquid glue. Oh. You know, that would make a pretty little wedding card too. And we're gonna finish it up by taking some of our gold metallic pearls and just adding them just to add a little more, just to add a little more, because we can. Okay, that was fun. So we have two cards. This one has a sentiment in pear pizzazz, and this one has a sentiment in basic black. Let me know in the comments below which one you like best. The Forever Fern bundle can be purchased over at my store at www.makingmemories.stampinup.net. There will be a link to my store down below. And all the measurements and products that I used will be over on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Tomorrow we will finish up our series with the Forever Greenery Suite, but I can guarantee this is not going to be the last time I use this. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow at 8. In the meantime, um, go craft. It's good for you. Talk to you later. Bye.